So this is how he sits at the moment and here are a few pics and a vid from the day I picked him up. The history is it was stolen, painted very poorly, crashed then recovered and sold from the police impound and then of course I brought it. The plan is to do some sort of a street fighter conversion. The lights here are just bolted on to see what they look like. I need to add another set as these aren't bright enough to be high beams. But the halos look pretty cool as you can see in the picture. I plan on swapping the stock gauges for the COSO gauge pictured here and I'll get a new mounting bracket fabricated for it and the headlights. The clip-ons were bent and I haven't ordered new ones yet so I've only been able to do some small test rides and I've got no mirrors either as you can see. The thermo cap was smashed as was the radiator overflow. Both were replaced with second-hand parts There's more damage along the right hand side of the bike. No replacements are being ordered for the lever there. And I'm not too worried about the damage on the muffler. There's no holes or anything. Uh, there was a little bit of surface rust on the brake disc, but they cleaned up okay. Not perfect, but I'll be fine. I'll give him another clean before I start riding. Uh, the fairings that came with it were all damaged, but I picked up these tail section pieces for 90 bucks. They all fit nicely too. I've also tidied up the storage section with whatever I had lying around at the time as you'll see in this next picture and I fitted some cheap flea bay indicators but I need to get some proper brackets fabricated as I've used the old fairing brackets at the moment A new OEM rear stay and gear lever. Gear lever set to race shift. There's a new fuel filter and clutch reservoir. I'm using the helmet clip from the subframe for the clutch reservoir as the bracket is no longer available from Kawasaki. Some places still do have it in stock though if you look around. The old fuel filter was filthy. And I cleaned and lubed the KNN air filter. Oh yeah, did I mention the light show? And here's one final walk around. I obviously added the KDU and I swapped the Fuel cap with an old one off a of EX250 fits perfectly. And so that's where we're up to at the moment. The rear seat's not on because both the seat locks are broken, so we need to get them ordered as well. As always, let the good times roll.